Hi and welcome back. Korean films have been receiving unprecedented global acclaim in recent years, with Parasite being the latest smash hit from South Korea. With its intricate narrative and masterful direction, it's no wonder that this film has captivated international audiences. Number 10. Memories of Murder In 1986, Gyeonggi Province, in South Korea, a thorough young and beautiful woman was found dead, raped, and tied and gagged with her underwear. Detective Park Doo Man and Detective Cho Yong Koo, two brutal and stupid local police, investigated the murder using brutal and torturous means without much success. Seo Dain from Seo comes to the country to aid the investigations and is convinced of the identity of a serial killer who is killing the female inhabitants. Immediately after the third woman dies in an identical modus operandi, the detectives investigate leads for the murderer. Memories of Murder has a 8.1 rating in IMDb and a 93% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. Castaway on the Moon Even though he attempted unsuccessfully to end his life by jumping from a bridge, he was washed ashore on an island in the middle of the river, not far from the city's downtown district of high-rise buildings. He tried to escape but eventually accepted his present state and lived on that deserted island. A woman who lives in seclusion has taken pictures of the moon from afar and never ventured out of her apartment for years. By making eye contact, she sees him as her only alien. Castaway on the Moon has a 8.0 rating in IMDb and a 93% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. I Saw the Devil Jang Kyung Chul is a dangerous psychopath serial killer. He has committed diabolical serial murders in unimaginable ways, and his crimes include female victims to innocent children. The police have chased him for a long time without success. One day, Jae Yeon, the daughter of a retired police chief, becomes her death's victim and is found in a shameful condition. Her fiancé, Su Yoon, a top-secret agent, decides to locate the murderer himself. He promises himself that he will do all that he can to take vengeance against the killer, even if it means that he must become a monster himself to secure this monstrous and inhumane killer. I Saw the Devil has a 8.7 rating in IMDb and a 78% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. The Wailing. In South Korea's small town of Goksung, police detective Jong Gu investigates suspicious homicides that were caused by a terrible illness. His partner spreads information that a Japanese creature living in seclusion in the mountains could be said to be responsible. Jong Gu decides to visit a stranger with his wife and the Catholic priest who speaks Japanese. They visit a small temple with an effigy of a buck pictures of victims of the disease on the walls, and an attacking guard dog that prevents their departure until the visitor arrives. Jong Gu digs up Hyo Jin's shoe from the house of a passerby, and soon Hyo Jin becomes ill. Jong Gu's mother-in-law calls upon the shaman Il Guang for salvation, while a mysterious woman informs Jong Gu that the stranger is accountable for Hyo Jin's illness. Who is the demon that's taking the daughter, Hyo Jin? The Wailing has a 7.4 rating in IMDb and 82% in audience score in Roten Tomatoes. <laughs> Number 6. Burning. Deliverman Jong Su is out on the job when he runs into Haimi, a girl who once lived in the same neighborhood. He asks if she will mind looking after her cat while she's on an African vacation. On her return, she introduces to Jong Su an enigmatic young man named Ben, whom she met during her time away. One day, Ben draws Jong Su into his unusual pastime. Burning has a 7.5 rating in AMDB and 80% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Number 5. Nobody Knows. 
In Tokyo, a reckless single mother named Kiko moves to a small apartment with her 12-year-old son Akira Fukushima, his brother Shigeru, and her sister Yuki Fukushima. Kyoko, another sibling, arrives by train. The children have different fathers and do not have formal education, but they share a happy life with her mother. When Kiko finds a new boyfriend, she leaves the children alone, giving her roommates some cash and assigning the crucial part of caring for the little ones to Akira. When the cash runs out, Akira figures out ways to live with forgetful kids without electricity, gas, or water at home, and with his landlady demanding the rent. Nobody Knows has a 8.0 rating in IMDb and a 93% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Number 4. Okje. For 10 idyllic years, young Mija has been caretaker and constant companion to Okje, a big animal and an even bigger friend at their home in the mountains of South Korea. But a distinct multinational conglomerate, Mirando Corporation, takes Okje for themselves and ships her to New York, where image-obsessed and self-promotional CEO Lucy Mirando has big plans for Mija's dearest friend. Setting no goal, Mija sets out on a rescue mission, but an already arduous journey takes on complications when she comes across the opposing sides of different political, social, and financial factions, all of whom strive to meet their own agendas. All Nija wants to happen is bringing her friend home. Artfully fusing genres, humor, poignancy, and drama, Bong Joon-ho begins with the gentlest of premises, the bond between human beings and animals, and eventually develops an one-of-kind vision of the worldwide state that culminates with our animal instincts. Okje has a 7.3 rating in IMDb and a 81% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. Train to Bizan. Sok Woo, a nature-loving father with little free time for his daughter, Su An, will be riding the Kax, a fast train that will transport them from Seoul to Busan. However, on their trip, something unfortunate starts to happen, and essentially all of the Earth's population develops flesh-eating zombies. As the amusement park is heading towards Bizan, the participants fight for their survival and the lives of their loved ones is fighting the zombies. Train to Bizan has a 7.6 rating in IMDb and an 89% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Number 2. Shoplifters A couple with limited opportunities resorted to shoplifting grass to gain money. It occurred alongside other behaviors. The older and the younger of the household join in on the activity. The unusual routine is about to change from one pragmatic and matter-of-fact to more remarkable. However, as the family members open the door to one who is worn out from a hard day, the reasons for the family's behavior and their motivations come under the glare of mental focus. Shoplifters has a 7.9 rating in IMDb and a 91% in audience score in Retain Tomatoes. If you want to watch series like Alchemy of Souls, Revenge of Others, or The First Responders, but they are not available in your country due to geographical restrictions, you are in luck. NordVPN can help you with this problem. Right now, NordVPN is offering a mega discount plus four free months with the exclusive link that is in the description. If you want to access thousands of series from all over the world on your favorite streaming platforms like Netflix, Prime Video, or Hulu, NordVPN is the perfect solution and you will surely be satisfied. And if you are not, they offer you 30 days to make a return and you will get all your money back. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 1. The Handmaiden 1935, in the period of Japanese occupation, a new girl is hired as a handmaiden to a Japanese heiress who lives a secluded life on a large country estate with her domineering uncle. The maid has a secret. She's a pickpocket recruited by one of the Japanese baron's underlings to help him in luring the lady to elope with him and steal her fortune, lock her up in an asylum, and disappear. 
The plan seems to be going according to plan until the maid and Hideko discover some problems. The Handmaiden has a 8.1 rating in IMDb and a 91% in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Do you like this video? Check others' videos here and subscribe to be notified about our most recent videos. See you next time. Goodbye.